All right, so let's talk AMC here. First of all, I'm not concerned about any price action here around $20. I increased my position, averaged down a little bit, um, still in the minus with AMC, but I am really not concerned at all. Every single day in December, the D updates are rolling in. You just have to get up and search for it. So let's do a quick uh, Reddit update about AMC and what is going on, what have people found recently. AMC is just one of those uh, squeeze plays that um, it's a huge problem for the market for instability reasons. Some other people who are not involved in AMC, GameStop and like 10 other squeeze plays um, are really annoyed of these hedge funds of the SEC, the DOJ just taking so long um, to do something and Wall Street just doesn't want that hovering in over their head. So AMC and all these other squeeze plays will be handled. Um, they have not been yet because these hedge funds are very stubborn. They don't want to go down. Um, and yeah, but let's take a look here. Uh, let's dive into it. So right now we always have between five and six million shares av available in the last few weeks. Uh, mainly they short AMC through ETFs because there are not enough shares available. I was concerned when the Swiss bank and BlackRock bought shares in AMC because I knew that will take all this a little more, more longer because they're not on our side, never. Um, they would even help these hedge funds if they really messed up um, because they're just in this different world from real retail. They are not on our side. Just keep that in mind. But I mean, BlackRock is what the second largest holder of AMC and they're the largest holder of uh, Evergrande. So Evergrande going down is a timing problem for BlackRock for sure because they just don't want to take uh, one loss after another. Um, so I'm not sure what they're going to do with the AMC shares. It doesn't really matter anyways, because the short float um, shouldn't be 20%. With all these naked shorts, the short squeeze will reveal how many real shorted shares are out there. But yeah, BlackRock, they might not help Citadel after all. So why is the stock action so annoying? Um, because we have some data that will make you think about how many shares are even out there. Like if 25% of the shares outstanding and 43% of the retail float is owned on Webull, then uh, it's either like a problem that so many people are holding on Webull or there's so many more out shares out there that officially here is 43% of retail, but I can't imagine that at all um, we just maybe own 200 percent of the stock and that's the way this number makes sense because i don't think uh, the weeble users in amc apes or in the 5 million uh, community um, are really holding over weeble it's so international as well there's fidelity there's so many more brokers um, people were using um, also robin hood and others not only weeble um, I know all these brokers are not for our advantage, but still, if you think about these numbers, they really don't make sense other than there are really more shares out there than officially um, announced. And we know that. So if you want to see the latest Adam Aaron um, interview here, it is from the 10th of December. It is on Trace Trades Clips. Um, and yeah. It is the full interview, an hour long. It's very fascinating. Uh, you can go look into it. So the DOJ, you might not put your whole trust in this, but um, yeah, Department of Justice, in my opinion, stepped in because Citadel um, more than publicly revealed that their investors could only withdraw under 7% of their money from them. So the liquidity is like really bad so some of the one percent um got that in their conscious and more nervous because of uncertainty in the markets and maybe squeeze plays and whatever it might be and like this one percent that is worried about their money might have real control in the doj 
and had some demands here. And the DOJ may be throwing everyone in the hedge funds under the bus for, uh, for this because like hedge funds and Wall Street is good and all, but there are richer people out there who want their money to be handled well. And Citadel didn't do that. We will start off the year fresh. The federal government, as well as any investor, would love this to be over. Even people who are shorting this, I'm sure, would love it. So, all right. Um, here is a Swedish broker, and uh, it updates the individual individual ownership in AMC and after the trading day. So um, only 37 people out of 30,000 people sold on that huge 15% dip. So um, this is Swedish data, though. Uh, it's very interesting that their broker are updating this. Like more brokers should be able to do that, in my opinion. But yeah, very interesting. This guy is saying um, they're diamond hands on the Swedish broker. Yes. Okay, okay, what else? Um, let's go quickly back to days to cover. So um, days to cover basically means on the current value, <coughs> basically means on the current volume, you would need 3.1 trading days here to cover your short positions on the 9th of December, if 16% are shorted, it would take 3.1 uh, days to cover. So the price could rise for three days. The thing is though, um, on this volume, yes, but if we reach $40 again, or something over that, the volume will quadruple, or even go higher than that. So you might have 12 or 15 days to cover then. This number could really explode because we had 111, um, then we had the big spike to 222 here. And after 222, we really, October, November was on our really bad trading weeks. And oh, listen here, um, the 20% uptick day we recently had, pushed these day to delivers um, up to 3.1. So this is the most bullish news here, in my opinion, with the volume going up, just take a look at the days to cover. This is one of the most important indicators for all of this, in my opinion. So um, yes, sir, this was a small uh, look into the Reddit um, updates from last week on December, but yeah, if you want to be updated on AMC every day, I do have a Patreon. It's five bucks a month. And uh, other than that, I make a 10K to 100K uh, challenge in January the 10th on Monday. I will start and post screenshots on Patreon from my 10 to 100K challenge um, because I want to challenge myself and really make gains this, this year. After a good 2020, I had a mid-2021, I still had a 500% return over the, these one and a half years, and now I wanna get better and do a 10x in 2022, also with crypto, but the 10K to 100K challenge is straight stocks. All right. Um, Yes, that's it for AMC. Go ahead and go on Reddit. Here is an endless DD as a top post um, with 7,000 upvotes. You would uh, have to find it. And yeah, then here you go. You do have a lot of November and December updates. You can click on. These are all um, separate links. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Give me a like and subscribe and I'm out of here.